Mario. Oh, buddy. This is your one and only boy, Officer 77 and in today's video, guys, I'm going to be showing you guys something very, very cool for MCV. So without further ado, let's just get started straight up in the video. So anyways, guys, today we are going to be taking a look. Like I said, I want to apologize for the inconvenience with my commentary. As you guys know, it's a little bit rusty in today's video. And as you guys know, I haven't been on YouTube for quite a while. So I really want to apologize for the inconvenience with that. But anyways, guys, let's get started in today's video. So the first thing we're going to be taking a look at in today's video is the Faithful Texture Pack. So this is the 32 by 32, if I'm not mistaken. So what we're going to do, all you guys have to do is pretty much download the thing from the description below. And it'll basically take you to Mediafire. And then all you guys have to do is pretty much download it. And then as you guys can see, this is the 32 by 32. <clears throat> I also want to apologize if my voice is like really dry or if it keeps cracking up because i have been yelling a lot today so yeah <laughs> hope you guys can kind of forgive me for that anyways guys today without further ado we're just going to get started straight in this video so anyways guys what we're going to do is hop onto our world now i'll leave the link in the description below if you guys want to download this map as well as the link to the creators of both this map and this particular texture pack and actually, this map was actually made by Jay Plays P, my friend Jay Plays P. If you guys don't know who he is, he's a really awesome YouTuber. Go check him out if you guys haven't already. He's an amazing YouTuber. He makes awesome content. And uh, actually, I don't know what he. I think he's on 30,000 subscribers right now. So he actually, yeah, that's really cool. And actually, that's. I remember when he was at 1K. Now he's actually surpassed me. So that is actually pretty awesome, guys. If you guys want to go and check out Jay's Plays P, please do it. definitely go check them out in the description below but anyways guys we're gonna get started in this video so today yeah you guys can see this is how the texture pack does look it's pretty self-explanatory as you guys can see so you guys can see that there is a bunch of colors you guys can see the colors everything looks pretty much the same the only difference in this particular texture pack is that it's everything is just doubled so i guess the the, te the textures are a little bit more sharp and basically all this really did was increase the pixel amount to 32 by 32 and before it was actually 16 by 16 so i'm not necessarily sure how the creator managed to somehow do this but whoever did this that's really awesome but yeah guys so this is how some of the items looked as you guys can see i'll just give you guys a little bit of a preview as you guys can see this is a, just a plain plain old world this is just kind of to show you guys how it's going to look like and yeah you guys can see the books look really awesome as you guys can see pretty awesome stuff and you guys can see this is all the stuff that I have. You guys can see this is the everything in the inventory, as you guys can see. Um, yeah, this is a pretty this is a pretty well known texture pack, so I'm pretty sure you guys aren't like gonna be surprised. Now the only there is a few new things, and if you guys didn't know before, the faithful uh, texture pack was actually not supporting the aquatic update. And as you guys can see now, it successfully does. As you guys can see, a lot of the new items. That haven't been in the faithful texture pack in minecraft pc even is actually now implemented in mcp so i thought that was a little bit of a cool thing but yeah you guys can see that here is some of the items and yeah i'm actually surprised the developer was actually able to make all these and yeah i, I don't know it's, it's kind of cool it's considering that i, I don't know I, I didn't really think the developer would even be working on this still but because, I mean, this thing has been, if you guys do not know, this thing has actually been out for quite a while now. This has been, like, what, six or seven years? However long Minecraft has been made. So, yeah, guys, that is pretty much it for this video. Here is the texture pack. What we're going to do is really quickly is we're going to go ahead to the nether. And we'll just do that. Alright, so you guys can see this is how the nether does look. And you guys can see this is how the trident does look. Pretty, pretty cool stuff. As you guys can see, when I throw it, actually, you guys can see our texture that was the the textures as you guys can see is you know on par so that's pretty pretty cool yeah i have honestly nothing to say i mean i'm not too surprised because i've seen this so many times and i'm kind of used to this texture pack in particular but yeah guys that is pretty much it for this video i hope you guys did enjoy this video and actually before i end off the video i want to show you guys the outside and we'll just check the weather really quick as well just just for those of you guys that are curious i'm not gonna like i said i'm not gonna spoil everything i'm just kind of spoiling the essential stuff that are in pretty much every other texture pack so what we're gonna do is actually quickly head outside so here 
Okay, so this is how the outside does look. And okay, I'm just gonna place something there. So what we're gonna do is set the time to day. So we're gonna set the time to day. This is how it looks in the daytime, pretty same. Everything looks pretty much the same as you guys can see. Nothing too different beside the grass, but even then in this texture pack, you can't really notice much of a difference. And we'll actually go and head out and check out the animals. As you guys can see, they look literally the same. You guys can see it's just a tiny, tiny difference if you really look closely, but you guys can see there's not much of a change. The cows are a little bit more noticeable, but you guys can see nothing has changed really. Um, the chicken looked pretty much almost the same despite the top of its head and, you know, <laughs> the feathers, but it looks almost the same. Same with the pig. Everything is pretty much the same. Like I said, everything looks a little bit... The whole point of this texture pack is to make it look a little bit more polished, I guess. It's a more polished version of Minecraft. And I guess it's it's more of a... Something to... So that you can distinguish, like, actual, like, individual blocks and, like identify it i guess what you can say i don't know really another word or like a synonym for that but because as you guys know my vocabulary is actually really bad <laughs> so yeah guys but yeah it's, it's just so you can understand like for instance like paintings you can understand like uh one is an apple tree instead of a bunch of random pixels because as you guys know 16 by 16 actually isn't really enough i guess what you can say i mean it is obviously enough but it's kind of hard to read out what like each block is and stuff you guys i hope you guys are understanding with what i'm trying to say i'll show you guys an example so you guys can see if you actually had this 16 by 16 texture pack you would not be able to identify this picture whatsoever but as you guys can see now with the 32 by 32 texture pack you guys can see i can actually identify that so it looks like a bunch of mountains and a sunset and then you guys can see we can actually uh that was actually um you guys can see we can kind of identify this one a little bit more it looks a little bit like a desert kind of in the other picture we couldn't see it because of the lack of pixels and you guys can see this looks a little bit more like an apple tree as opposed to the one that had 16 by 16 and in my opinion this texture pack and not just not just in general but this probably looks a lot more better than the normal Minecraft. Everything just looks a lot better. This is honestly how Minecraft should look, at least in my opinion. I mean, it depends, honestly, but yeah. Now, there is actually a 64 by 64 if you guys want to go download that. But I'm not going to be showcasing that because that is a bit laggy, as you guys know. And in my opinion, 32 by 32 is quite enough. It's a pretty decent amount of pixels. I mean, you don't really need more than that. 64 by 64 almost looks the same and it's kind of useless. I mean, it looks cool. It looks a little bit better. I will give you that. But I feel like this is good enough. This already looks pretty nice. And I'll actually show you guys some of the swords too. If you guys want to go check these out. Um, okay, so we'll, we'll just take an iron sword, a diamond sword. And we'll probably find maybe something like a... Maybe like an axe. And I'll actually put some armor on as well. Oh, did someone join our game? Oh, okay, okay. We got some two. We got two people. Um. Okay, should I tell them I'm recording? Uh. Hello. I don't know if they're gonna care or not. Uh, but yeah, I guess. Uh. <laughs> okay, that was a bit unexpected. Uh, skull crusher, I think. And um super <laughs> super uh i forgot his name i'm sorry uh let me read it super oh okay we got, we got three people um okay yeah <laughs> uh, okay hey guys uh so you guys can see this is how the diamond sword does look pretty pretty cool stuff as you guys can see we also have an iron sword and here is the axe pretty pretty cool stuff like i said and yeah that's pretty much it for this video guys i honestly have nothing else to say i hope you guys did enjoy this video don't forget to leave a like in this video and like i said don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new to the channel and yeah if you guys are probably wondering what why i'm using the skin i'm using actually right now uh is because i haven't actually like yeah i i was actually planning on making a video on a tutorial and it's basically how you can get the skin model like this and make it to your own skin which is really cool so i'll be showing you guys a tutorial on that very very soon but anyways guys i hope you guys did enjoy this video and i want to thank each and one of you guys for watching and i will see you later and yeah bye bye